I've been kissed by a dog. I have dog germs. Get hot water. Get some disinfectant. Get some iodine. Today's Christmas video, we're going to be having a look at the memory lane of Charlie Brown's Christmas. This is Snoopy, Charlie Brown's faithful dog with Woodstock guitar, working spotlight, and stage display bass. Why don't we first start this review by figuring out how tall Snoopy is. We're gonna put that right to the top of his head. The Ultra Measuretron tells us that Snoopy is a very small 3.4 inches in height, which translated to centimeters. Let me go ahead and do that right now. 8.6 centimeters is how tall little Snoopy stands. The figure gets a fair share of accessories, although I have to come clean. I have to lay something on the table for a second. I'm very disappointed with the level of accessories and the, the fact that they don't really work. Way to set the bar awfully high there, YouTube reviewer. Well, we'll talk about that in a second, but first and foremost, I wanna show you the display base that comes included with Snoopy. Sort of the exact carbon copy. Let me reach off camera just to prove that. Pretty much a carbon copy to what we got with with uh, Charlie Brown. It's the same display base and it has the same working dial below that will spin the turntable in which you can put the character atop of. Talk about a little bit of that in a second as well. I also want to show you how they connect together. Very awkwardly because you almost have to put them in on an angle. See because both of them have pegs. So line up one and then kind of go underneath and line up the second one and then they connect together. One thing at least is certain, I'm not as fearful about the connector points lining up and breaking as I was before. Even though, yes, the plastic is awfully thin and very much capable of splintering and, and developing uh, stress uh, marks right there where they'll eventually break. At the very least, when you are lining them up though, they're not, there's enough clearance where as you can clearly see, they don't really so much attach to one another, they just sort of sit inside those grooves. So it's not something where you get snapping them together and then they're not going anywhere and then when you try to take them off you're going to have that problem. Instead they're fairly loose and uh, at least enough that it kind of keeps everything together. Unfortunately though one of the problems with Snoopy is if you flip him upside down he doesn't have any peg holes so it really defeats the purpose that his stand would have had a peg. You could still really in theory put him on top of the stand and then again, you're just gonna spin this around to simulate the fact that they're dancing. One thing you'll see too, and uh, you know what, for that, I'm gonna bring in Charlie Brown. We already had a look at Charlie Brown. I wanna put him on this display base because I wanna show you something. It's neat the way they've done this. One wheel, as you can see, spins uh, Snoopy. However, that same wheel also now lines up with the wheel that's right next to it. So when you are spinning Snoopy, you're also spinning Charlie Brown. This also makes me think that if you added this by a square, so if you put, say, two, not this way, but behind them and, and connecting four together as a square, they would all be spinning based on the spin of only one wheel. That's really clever. Doesn't make up for the fact of some of the problems and shortcomings that Snoopy's gonna have, but at the very least, it's neat that they would have given us something like this where you could spin one and you know it would spin all the others. We'll move these display bases off. I'm sure they'll make appearances again because there are still two figures that we got to look at that come in for the uh, the school playset scene. I just want to keep Charlie Brown into the mix for the time being because I want to show you the size difference between the characters. Snoopy is about two thirds the length of Chuck. Um, of course, he's a little bit taller. Of course, he should be because in the cartoon he's quite a bit taller as well. And way, way down below we have ourselves a little Woodstock. He's very two-dimensional, even though he's a three-dimensional figure. He's very flat looking though. Uh, he does have feet. The feet are arched in such a way though, it does make 
things a little bit more difficult for him to stand. Sometimes I often uh, just have him falling straight over because there's just not enough of a footprint to keep him in place. Oftentimes he just kind of rolls back as well. I guess for what he needed to be, Woodstock has details roughly saying because I mean he's only got the little slit for his eye that's about as much as you're gonna get but at the very least I guess he does have something going for him it's interesting that he's also got this print on his chest that almost looks like it says UPS I don't think it says UPS though just kind of find that funny uh, so there is Woodstock. I guess what we will do is we'll move Charlie Brown out of the way because we've already technically had a look at him. The other accessories that come included with Snoopy is a spotlight, which supposedly worked. I'm sure at some point it did work, but currently for this review, those batteries are long dead. And I've been trying to figure out how to get this opened. I mean, unless these are shelled together, I really haven't didn't want to take the gamble of trying to pry these open. Let's see if I can pop this off. There we go. I have yet to actually split these to see if they're splittable. I guess in theory that you could split them open, but I just don't know what how much of a disaster it's going to be inside. There is the button right there, but it does absolutely nothing. Light at one point would have worked. Oh, there is a section in there that has a screwdriver. How would you possibly get a screwdriver in there? I guess if you had a long, thin enough neck for a screwdriver, you could probably fit it in there. But I'm just going to leave it be. I'm not devastated. I am disappointed, but I'm not devastated that the light doesn't work. I don't really expect something that's 14 years old to still have working lights or working batteries. It does move up and down. Um, it might would have been awesome if we could have gotten ourselves more of these so a couple more characters could have come with some more spotlights just to kind of fill out the backdrop let's talk a little bit about his guitar it does look like it did from the christmas special a sort of pinkish red kind of looks like raspberry taffy don't put this in your mouth and ingest it i'm just telling you it looks about the same color it's got some black for the strings of the guitar a little tuning part uh, sections on the guitar uh, are also done in black. There's the back of it once again. I guess it says UFS 2004, not UPS. Now, the disappointing thing about this is there's absolutely no way to display it. For starters, Snoopy's arms are way too small. There's not, there's not nearly enough for him to properly hold it unless you just sort of prop it against his arm and just kind of have it sitting against him. But it really doesn't benefit, it doesn't have him actually holding it. They could have given him a gripping hand, but I think this is the same Snoopy that we've gotten with some of the great pumpkin Charlie Brown figures that we've looked at previously on this channel. Oh, you had a look at some great pumpkin Charlie Brown figures? Yes, I did. A long time ago, if you want to go check those out right now. Or maybe a little bit later. So it looks like the same Snoopy. So I can understand why it would not have the ability to hold the guitar. It's just really disappointing that he can't. You know, I would have loved to display him as such. A rather clever feat, though, that this particular Snoopy has, which is actually carried over from the fact that this is the same Snoopy from the Great Pumpkin, he was able to sit on top of his, his uh, doghouse. And there was actually a deluxe version, which I think I might have even reviewed, of the light-up Christmas uh, Christmas light doghouse that Snoopy also came included with and I think I did a review of that one as well but they all use the same figure and a rather neat way to ingeniously allow you to have the dog sit above just telling Snoopy to sit which I'm sure he's not going to listen to is there's this cut swivel right here let me move his arms up right here you see that there's this line that runs across his tummy down his back and then right underneath his tail so currently, posability-wise, we'll go through this now. His head rotates, his arms rotate back and forth, and then his legs, his feet, swing back and forth. Okay, but if you wanted to have him sit, all you have to do is bring his arms up and just rotate the lower half of him, just like this. Just like this. And stopping it right there. Now you can swivel the feet back around. And instantly, you've got yourself Snoopy sitting. Really neat, really clever. 
you could probably put that even on top of say Schroeder's piano and you could just have Snoopy sitting on top of it that way. So I really like that. I think that's I think that's clever that the the way that they're able to do that. Uh, his hands, I might have even mentioned it when I had a look at the Snoopy a long time ago. His hands look like they're facing the wrong way. This part here is a little smoother, and then this part here kind of has a bump to it. It looks actually like it should be flipped the other way around. Like you could take these, I wonder if I could actually take these arms off. Well, they look like they're pegged. This is unscripted, unplanned. Let's see if I can take his arms off there. No. I want to break the peg but I, I feel as if like the hands should be like the hands should have either been going this way and of course his this would be incorrect but I feel like the arm should have been on the opposite side for that because that looks like a thumb it doesn't look like the back of his hand uh, I do like the head sculpt very somber looking Snoopy looks like he's kind of just engaging in the music he's just listening to the music his eyes are closed. I kind of wish that the eyes were open. Again, he's got the little squib scribbled uh, mouth down below there. Paint on him is pretty good. Don't really have too many issues with it. Matte black on the ears, and yet the nose and then the back spot on his uh, on his back there are more of a shinier black. He sort of fits the bill, if you will, if uh, for a Snoopy figure. Kind of in the same vein that if you just want like a Charlie Brown, both of these figures work as just a Charlie Brown, just a Snoopy, and then to some extent, extra mileage, you get the little extra Woodstock. They don't necessarily have to be specifically for Christmas. Play Mantis, of course, released these as Christmas figures, but you get the benefit of really just displaying these all year round because there's nothing really specifically saying that this is Snoopy from a Christmas special, even though it is. For final looks, the magic word here is add-ons. Add-ons. I went back and grabbed some of the other figures that we looked at from the Memory Lane Charlie Brown's Christmas, and I decided to make use of them putting together and sort of recreating the scene in which Charlie Brown is dancing on top of the piano, hopefully to some success. Of course, this could have worked a little bit better if I had a couple of extra display stands, but I will when we eventually have a look at both Frida and Pigpen. Part of me is a little disappointed that we got so many figures that were outside, six characters that were outside, that come with outside display dioramas. I kind of wish that we could have gotten ourselves more inside school play backdrops because I would certainly have liked to use more of those display stands, especially for the fact that you can connect all of them and one wheel works all the other display tops. I think that's kind of clever. Still, we have to look at two other figures, then that would be Frida and Pigpen, and at the very least, then we'll have four display stands that we can kind of all connect together to get ourselves not a very impressive large diorama, but at the very least, we'll have four figures and their display stands that we can put them on top. In the meantime, though, a rather somber Snoopy in this review. I kind of wish that he could have come with accessories that he could probably have held at the very least. Giving him different hands would have worked a long way just to kind of have him displayed with the guitar. It just doesn't really sit with him and I also wish that the spotlight, even though I mean expectation level had to be a little high for me to think that the batteries 14 years later would have still worked. I can't think that Play Mantis probably used really good batteries. They probably didn't. Either way, though, if you guys are interested in picking these ones up for yourself, somebody had asked me in the comments section, I can't remember which video it was, but it was one of the Charlie Brown's Christmas uh, vid figure videos. Somebody had asked, how easy are these to come by? Well, that's the beauty of it. Not many people are going back and wanting to pick up the Memory Lane Charlie Brown Christmas figures from way back in 2004. The reasoning for that, I guess a lot of people just don't want to get the older collectibles, unless you're like me. We either want to review them or just want to put them on display and I never got them before but the trade-off for that is these are really affordable figures in fact you could get the whole set of them for probably under a hundred dollars if you're looking to pick them up for yourself so it's a good starting point for a collection if you want to get into it now 14 years later today though we were having a look at the this was the play mantis now playing presents which is technically I think play mantis is the company now playing uh, or Memory Lane, I guess it was Memory Lane, I'm not now playing, that was uh, the Mezco, I believe. But uh, the Memory Lane from Play Mantis, this was the Charlie Brown's Christmas, Snoopy, Woodstock, a spotlight that didn't work, and a guitar that he couldn't hold. 
And in Final Looks, I just added a whole bunch of extra stuff to fill out the scene. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, guys. Like I said, we're going to still have a look at Pigpen and Frida. Those are the last two figures from this lineup. I think I've decided I'm not going to have a look at Pigpen and Schroeder. Disappointment quickly fills the room. A lot of people were disappointed that I'm not going to probably have a look at those two, but it's only because I've already looked at them with the Psychiatric Deluxe set that had those figures already. I looked at Lucy Van Pelt a second time, thinking that at the very least I would cover all the bases and I would look at the single card figures as well, but ultimately it's the same figures. So why am I doing the reviews again? It's nothing new. The Schroeder, for example, is the same Schroeder as we're going to look at. The pig pen, we've already had a look at pig pen, so probably not going to have a look at those. So FYI, I'm disappointed somebody, I'm sure. I'm sorry for that. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, guys. Like I said, more videos will be coming your way. We've got a whole bunch of Christmas stuff still lined up, even though there's only a couple of days left at the time I'm shooting this video. Let's hope these aren't belated Christmas videos. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.